final days of prep for the NFL draft. As we take a live look at Hart Plaza there for you, we're going to be showing you around the experiences that are opening up, plus the money that will be heading back into the community for programs in honor of the draft. We'll have that for you. And then as we go ahead and take a look outside the courthouse in Manhattan live right now, opening statements underway in former President Trump's hush money criminal trial. I'll tell you what both sides of attorneys are saying with the opening statements today. And good afternoon to you. Thanks so much for joining me for the Daily Plus Live. I'm Christy McDonald. You are watching this streaming only on ClickOnDetroit.com and on Local 4 Plus. So I hope you had a great weekend. You're enjoying the sunshine so far on this Monday afternoon. We have a lot of stuff coming up for you in this next hour or so. But we want to start with, of course, what everyone is talking about, the NFL draft, which is coming this week, the preparations underway, and the countdown. And the NFL experiences, some of them are starting to open up. Rod Maloney is out at Hart Plaza live to give us an idea of what we can see so far. Hey, Rod. Yeah, hey, Christy. You know, we're in Hart Plaza, and first of all, take a look at the, the fountain. Now, we did a piece of this last week, but it is spectacularly refurbished and that's sort of the theme for all of this right is that Hart Plaza renewed with incredible experiences now I'm going to walk around here take a look we got Anzalone Hutchinson and St. Brown we have the the uh, the, the standards here showing their pictures that's kind of the point to the whole thing over here is the NFL gallery and in there is all kinds of great historic stuff come around this way and there are a couple of tents that people are going to want to see there's the Super Bowl ring tent they're going to have every Super Bowl ring that they have ever made and in terms of the year and then the Vince Lombardi trophy is going to be housed there and you can see all the mannequins and so forth and then over on this side is going to be the autograph stage where you will be guaranteed to get autographs by the people who are in there they told us just a few minutes ago that uh, you can't get autographs with everybody some of the stars may not be willing to pick up the pen and sign something for you but at the autograph stage you get now if you look behind me you see a couple you see the white tent in front and then the one in back underneath the UAW memorial there that is where the Lions have their tent and they say it's the biggest one that they've ever had for a draft the host team showing off their team history and the point to all of this Christy is that they they wanted to make the footprint uh, all the way up from Hart Plaza all the way down to Campus Martius and so everywhere where there's a fence and believe me there's a lot of fencing in downtown Detroit that is NFL draft area and the one thing that you want to do is to get your one pass download the one pass app and then everything works from there and so we're, we we're getting our look we got to be out of here in uh, 27 minutes so we're going to scoot and go take some more video and uh, get a couple of more positions and we can show you more at five and at six o'clock but uh, there's a lot going on the setup is going on and they're keeping us <laughs> very busy in short amounts of time so for now local four rod maloney live downtown at Hart plaza christy back to you all right, Rod, we're going to let you go so you can get all of that done again in a short amount of time because of the access for the media. Thanks so much, Rod. And again, you know, he's telling you, be prepared when you're going to go downtown with that NFL one pass you have to have. And as all of these last minute preps are underway, as you saw what Rod was doing, there is also going to be a lasting effect on the community after the draft is over. All right, and joining me now is Faye Nelson. She is the co-chair of the Community Engagement Committee for the 2024 NFL Draft here in Detroit. And of course, Faye is no stranger to engagement here in the city of Detroit from the Riverfront Conservancy to the DTE Energy Foundation, and of course to Kellogg. It's great to see you, Faye. Oh, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much for having me this morning. You know, when we talk about getting ready for the NFL draft, before we get into the engagement piece with the with the rest of right. the city, not just downtown, talk to me about what this process has been in putting things together and seeing this really come to shape this week. Well, I can tell you that it has been a very exciting and wonderful and exhilarating process. We've been in the planning stage for many, many months uh, with regard to uh, our living legacy effort, it's been an 18 month plus process. And so we've had the opportunity to have wonderful conversations, discussions with community leaders, groups. What can we do in order to best impact our children and families in Detroit, not only now, but beyond the draft? So it's been a, it's been a great experience and I'm so excited that it is now NFL draft week. Yeah, 
I bet. Yeah, so talk a little bit about the Living Legacy um, Community Engagement Initiative. When you start to have those initial conversations of this is not just a fun event downtown, um, but we have the opportunity to impact change, what were some of the initial ideas and then what will we be able to see? So what we wanted to be able to do was to launch an initiative that was meaningful, that was impactful, that had uh, um, an element of sustainability. And so what we didn't want to do was to make that decision on our own. We wanted to reach deeply in community, have discussions, speak with community leaders, uh, engage with community groups, and do a lot of listening to better understand what at the end of the day or how can the Detroit Sports Commission best impact our children and families. So based upon all of uh, these discussions, conversations, and conversations and discussions within uh, our community engagement group, we arrived at two major pillars, uh, one being education with a focus on literacy. And we're excited about uh, that pillar because Illiteracy is a challenge for our community, and so we're so pleased to be able to be part of this literacy movement and active play with a focus on girls in sports. Um, so appreciative to our, uh, to our donors that provided us with a million dollars to launch this living legacy effort. So, so we'll be with some of our donors thanking them. So excited and appreciative of our 15 member community engagement committee that without them, uh, we would not have had, we would not have such an amazing uh, initiatives like this living legacy. All right. Yeah. And